Hello, my friends. This is Justice Anthony Knight reporting, and I'm filling in for Lisa Haven today covering this article from DailyMail.com titled, We Will All Be Forced to Serve Under an Immortal Robot Dictator Whose Power We Can Never Escape, warns billionaire Elon Musk. This is a huge warning. And what he's warning us about is artificial intelligence, call it a supercomputer, call it whatever you might. But what's happening is we have such a rapid increase of intelligence right now and such a rapid increase in technology that Elon is concerned what's going to happen that we can't secure it down. This can be proven on multiple formats. Just take for example, at this point in time in our history, a computer has won at a game of Jeopardy. A computer has won in a game of chess. And those are great examples, except those can technically be programmed. You can use patterns. You can use predictive methods to figure out how to beat the competitor. But then it went and beat us at a game of poker. The article you see up on your screen refers to, and, and it states, Oh, the humanity. Poker computer trounces humans in big step for AI. Libratus, an artificial intelligence robot, has one chip's worth 1.5 million. We're going to stop there. Why is this a big deal? Why is poker a big deal? Because if I play you in poker, I got to bluff you. I got to cheat. I got to make sure you don't know what my hand holds. And that was always human to human before would be the only way to do that. Well, now a computer's learned how to do it. A computer's learned how to lie to you. A computer's learned how to cheat you. That's a scary, rapid advancement of something that didn't exist before. And who's, who's doing all this? Why is this such a big deal? How can this be tied to you? Well, you have the example of the race between Google and Amazon. They have the world's biggest database and who's gonna be, you know, what's a big database mean? Well, it means information. It means your search engines, what you look at for the internet, your facial, facial recognition, your, well, take Google Maps, where you go to and from. Do you ever program in there? You know, your home address and list it as home. They know where you live. Not terrifying unless the technology gets in the wrong hands. And this is where you really have to pay attention because what's gonna happen is Google, and you take Ray Kurzweil, Ray Kurzweil who worked on, Google owns a company called DeepMind. DeepMind, because Google's database was getting so big that they had to create, they bought this DeepMind company, which basically is, is funded for the advancement of artificial intelligence. If we can't control our program, we're gonna have a computer control it. Well, the computer started to learn. The computers started to create its own programs. And Google is controlling all of this. So let's take a real world example. My friends have looked at me and said, well, what's your fear? What keeps you awake at night? Here's what keeps me awake at night. If we can train a robot now how to win at a poker game, we can also train a robot how to potentially hold a gun and shoot. Let's use that simple example. And let's say the technology in this database gets in the wrong hands. We know that's the case. Facebook has what? 84 million users' profiles gone overnight. Now they're saying they might be in Russia, you know, the Cambridge Analytical scandal. This is the most advanced in technology platforms. And he lost it. He can't figure it out. Every day that number keeps growing because intelligence is out of control. But I, I go back. So we have a robot that you now train to shoot a gun. And I've told you that Google has a huge database of everything you do, what you look at. And now remember, if you program that home address on your Google Maps, it knows where you live. So let's say the bad guy, let's put it simply, gets a hold of the information. And he doesn't agree with your agenda. He doesn't agree with your religion. He doesn't agree with your political viewpoint. That computer and that robot can very easily be trained to find you. You've seen drones. Drones can go anywhere it's sent, and now it can kill. And now it does and can't be stopped. Because once the program's set in motion, nobody can stop where it's gonna go. So why, how can you stop this? You can use a virtual network or a virtual shield. You know, Lisa convinced me to do this once. I'm like, what are you talking about, Lisa? This, uh, what is this technology, this virtual shield you keep talking about? And funny enough, she was dead on. And uh, you need a VPN. And what the VPN does is it scrambles your signal. So nobody knows what you're looking at on the internet. Nobody knows where your phone is at because if you can locate me, you can easily locate me through this device pretty quickly. If I have a virtual shield on, there's literally nothing you can do to find me because it may say I'm in Africa. It might say I'm in Europe. It might say I'm in Georgia. Sounds silly. You need it. It's an absolute necessity. But I digress and back to the article. In a quote, and Mary Shelley, this was the writer of Frankenstein, once stated, you are my creator, but I am your master. Obey. 
We're talking about the rise of artificial intelligence and machines overtaking the people who've created them. Exactly what Elon Musk is warning against. In this case, it's a monster. And folks, this is a monster. Elon Musk, one of the wealthiest men in the entire universe, can defend himself against anything. Heck, the man could go build an island if he wanted to, disappear from society, you would never know where he's at. And he's issuing warnings every day. And why is he so afraid? Why is he the only man who's trying to get off the planet through SpaceX? Why is he the man who's creating Neuralink? Neuralink who is trying to make the human mind faster to keep up with the artificial intelligence that's growing. He would be at the forefront of everything and he's warning us folks, he's screaming from the rooftops because there's people like Ray Kurzweil, for example, in this article published by sciencealert.com, who states, and this again, remember Ray Kurzweil works for Google, deep mind, creating technology, teaching it how to learn, and he states that leads to computers having human intelligence or putting them inside our brains, connecting them to the cloud, expanding who we are today. That's not just a future scenario, Kurzweil said. It's here in part, and it's going to accelerate. It is already here, folks. It's already upon us, and we need to be screaming from the rooftops, just like Elon Musk is to slow things down. Elon Musk gives us a 10% chance of us ever being able to secure the technology that now exists. This is extremely relevant to each and every one of our lives. Nobody is immune. Nobody can hide. Nobody can get away from this. And that's why it's so critical that you pay attention, you keep educated, you learn what's happening, and we secure ourselves and stop this advancement before it is, and unfortunately, already out of control. This has been Justice Anthony Nett reporting, and thank you for letting me fill in for Lisa Haven. You can find me on my YouTube channel at Justice Knight. Friend me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links are right below. And I'd like to thank you each again. And once again, this has been Justice signing out.